Hello guys and dolls. So today I'm bringing you a review of the Laura Mercier Artist Palette and I, oh, I love this palette. It's like we're having like a dirty little makeup love affair right now, which is weird. This palette is $48 and it comes in a box like this from Sephora. When I went to Sephora to purchase it, they didn't actually have it out on the little the little thing yet. They had to pull it from the back for me and the only reason why I even knew about it is because I was trolling the Sephora website looking for new eyeshadow palettes because I have an addiction, sir. Okay, <laughs> I buy, I, I have a palette problem. So this is the palette itself. It has like a pebbled leather kind of look and the shade of the brown is kind of like a plummy brown and Laura Mercier's whole line is like kind of like shades of plum and gray and brown and everything like that. So this really fits in line with the branding. I really like that the back is nice and clean. It just says Laura Mercier on a little sticker. So this just looks like something that's so elegant and would look so nice in your handbag or out on your vanity. I haven't put this in a drawer yet and I have no plans to because I just love seeing it. I just, I really, oh my God, you guys, I love this palette so much it's like a it's like a it's unnatural so when you open up the palette it has a magnetic closure here it's not a very strong magnetic closure but it 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 doesn't like fly open or anything and then you open it up and there's a mirror and here's one little detail I love it actually says Laura Mercier on the mirror I just think that it's like etched in there I think that is such a neat touch and it's something that really adds to the, oh, maybe it's painted on that edge down, but whatever. It adds to the elegance of the whole palette. And then, of course, we have the reason for buying the palette, which is these gorgeous 12 eyeshadows that have a nice gradient from light to the darkest shades. I think that the layout of the colors is so beautiful here. It just really makes you want to dive in and play with these colors. It just makes them look so accessible. It makes them look accessible because you can easily see, okay, here's the light, here's the dark, these are mid-tones, these are warm tones, these are cool tones. I just think that the layout is so, so well done on this. Now, there are some repeats from last year's palette. I didn't buy last year's palette, so I'm not sad about it. I believe that some of these are permanent eyeshadows and some of them may be limited, limited edition. I'm not... I, I can't say for sure on that one because I'm not that familiar with Laura Mercier eyeshadows because... A Laura Mercier eyeshadow is normally $28, so that's a little out of my price range for a single eyeshadow. So having a palette like this is such a great deal because as I said, it's $48 and you get 12. I mean, these aren't the exact same size as the full size, but you, you get what I'm going with this. Today I'm gonna be showing a look that I did using this palette. This is the first look I ever did when I opened up the palette. I've done a few since then, and I just think it's such a great palette and it's such a good one for traveling. Normally when I, you know, travel with makeup, I'm, uh, you know, I'll try to just pack one palette that I'm like, you know, I really need a different highlight shade with those or, I, you know, I need a different mid-tone color or whatever. This is actually complete. I don't need to pack anything else. I can do very neutral looks with this. I can do a little bit more of like a heavier, smokier color because you have one, two, three, four darker colors here. And then these two are like mid-tone dark so you can get like different effects with it. Ugh good there's some shimmers there are mattes and that's oh gosh can we just talk about how rare it is to find a good blend of shimmers and mattes this palette you just you need it I'm sorry you do anyway if you'd like to see the look I created let's go ahead and get started so I went ahead and did all like my face makeup and stuff before filming just because I never do that and it's kind of a different perspective to give you guys and now I am doing a um, eyeshadow base this is the Milani shadow eyes pencil in almond cream, my favorite, if you guys haven't noticed because I use it in like every video. What can I say? It's good stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a base shade all over. So I'm going to take Sparkling Dew, which is like a uh, slightly shimmery color, light off-white. Just place that all over the entire lid. Don't show like our emotions. If you have a deeper skin tone than me, you can use guava or maybe even bamboo as your all-over base shade. Next, I'm going to pick up Fresco, which is sort of like a pinked tan. And the brush that I'm using today is one of the Wayne Goss brushes, just FYI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rock this in my socket line. And in between the brush and the shadow itself, I really shouldn't be using these Wayne Goss brushes because you guys are going to think that these shadows only look great because of the Wayne Goss brushes, which they do help, of course. Whatever, I'm overthinking the whole thing. I'm doing a little bit of this rocking it in my socket just to create that illusion of a shadow. Do you see what that does? That lifts my eye up compared to this one. Oh, it looks so sad. Mm. Let's go ahead and make it match. The next color I'm going to dip into is this one called Kerr Royal and P.S. I was so excited to see this in this kit because I wanted that color for quite a while. And I'm taking a smaller blending eyeshadow brush 
and I'm just going to put this in the more defined area of the crease line. So I'm using that same motion, but because the brush is smaller and I'm being more careful with my strokes, it's only going to deposit it right there. Do you see? And then to blend that with the other color, just bring back the other brush we're using. All right, so for the lid, I'm going to be using African Violet, which is this ugh, so pretty. To apply this, I'm using a Sigma brush, and I'm just popping this on the lower part of the lid. If you want to make this color more intense, you could place a sticky base underneath it or even apply it wet. I think it looks really good with like a concealer as a base on underneath. At this point, you have like a nice like light, smoky eye. And the great thing about a look like this is if you're pressed for time, you can just kind of like stop at any point and go, okay, that's good. It's fine. You don't have to do it anymore. Before I make this any smokier, I'm just going to apply my eyeliner. Today, I'm using Tornado from Urban Decay. And I'm applying this from the outside in because I find that when I do that, I can get a little bit of a thinner line than if I try to draw it from the inside out. Thicken up the outer edge and by thickening the outer edge and leaving the inner part relatively thin it gives your eye a more tilted up shape makes them a little more almond shaped now just to add a little more depth in the outer corner I'm gonna add violet ink and this is a flat shader brush from the V Neal line of brushes I'm gonna place that like a little pat 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 look how pigmented that color is holy moly so just pat it on and the best part is it blends really well too and I'm gonna pat that over the liner as well and then just squiggle it over a little bit like that. Squiggle, it's a technical term. I'm gonna take my blending brush that I use to apply the, the uh, Cur Royal, the deeper of the crease shades, and just blend that out. And it'll, it'll blend pretty easy for ya. All right, and then you might not need to do this because I think it looks good on its own, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the Vanilla Nuts color. And I'm just gonna place that right here, just in the outer portion of my underbrow. I'm not going to take it all the way in and then I'll bring back my big blending brush and just smooth out the crease colors blendy blendy okay we're done so then I'm going to apply some mascara this is the blink amplified mascara it doesn't smudge flake budge and you take it off with warm water I think I've talked about this before it's my favorite and I just got mascara on my eyelid Ugh. here's what you do with this if this happens apply color over it and don't tell anyone for blush today I'm using pinch of peach from Mac and a Mac 138 brush and I have to tell you guys I love this blush and I completely forgot that I even owned it because of where I had my Mac palettes which you guys saw in my uh, room tour I recently moved them onto my desk and so now I see my Mac palettes and I remembered oh yeah I have this blush palette with blushes I totally love so for lipstick I'm using the Too Faced Spice Spice Baby lipstick Like quick little and then over the top of that I'm gonna use a Mac luster glass I haven't used this in a long time this is love nectar my absolute favorite lip gloss just put a little in the center and then blend it up I just realized that I put the lipstick on the top lip and then blended that down to the bottom and then I put the lip gloss on the bottom and blended it up to the top I don't know why I did that I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just love, love, love the colors in this palette. I think that the outside of the palette is just gorgeous. And seriously, if you love purple, if you love mauves, if you think these colors would look good on you, if you have green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, black eyes, whatever eye color you have, this is going to work for you. And I think there's such a great gradient of colors. You have the light to dark. It's just, it's so good. There's warm, there's cool, you know, there's just, oh, I love it so much. Mm. Anyway, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I just acted like such a weirdo. I need more of this coffee. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to finish my coffee and then I've got to go. So I will, hold on. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you guys on Wednesday with a new video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See you, bye.